Cool, now what we're gonna do is a lying knee raise. And we've got a couple of variations of it, so I'll, uh, I'll demo. First of all, you need to lay down. Clue is in the name, lying knee raises. Now, if you put your hands flat by the side, what we want to do is bring one knee up, okay, and push it back down. Now, what you'll notice is my legs, my foot's not dropping or sticking up in the air. The lower part of my leg is nice and flat, and the aim is to keep that as flat as possible, or horizontal, I should say, throughout the exercise. Uh, now, if we're gonna do it with the other leg, we're gonna do it like that, okay? So that's the basic version. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, what you do, pop your hands underneath your butt to give a bit of support to this, the lower regions of the spine, and we're gonna do both feet at the same time, pushing out, bringing back in. Again, not letting the feet drop, and not letting the feet go high, we keep them level so that the shins are almost parallel to the floor throughout, okay? So that's the simple knee raise. Do it double, do it single. Uh, what we're gonna do for the purpose of the exercise is I'm gonna do it double. If you're doing it single, what you can do is do your other leg while I'm resting. How about that? Sound okay? Good, all right. Because if you're doing it single leg, you don't really need a recovery. You can just go one leg, the other leg, one leg, the other. So we're going to do 10 reps. You can do more if you're capable, less if you need more break. But while I'm doing my set, you guys are going to do your right leg. And then while I'm recovering, you guys are going to do your left leg. So if you're doing both, get your hands underneath the base of your spine. If you want as well, you can get a bit more of a contraction in the upper abs by bringing your head and shoulders off the ground. And let's go one. Two, three, four, five, looking good, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push them out. Okay, so I'm going to chill out for a little bit. If you're doing the single leg, you should be moving on to your other leg now and doing that one. Uh, now, Muscles wise, this is primarily abdominals and hip flexors, okay? There's a small amount of thigh work in there. Uh, your uh, rectus femoris will be engaged throughout, but yeah, we're mainly hitting the hip flexors and the abs for it, so it's a good one to do. Uh, let's get you in position. We're gonna go on for round two, get ready. So, hands under your butt again. Shoulders and head up if you can. If you're doing this, you might find you get a bit of an achy neck, that's normal because you're building up lactic acid in these muscles here, sternocleidomastoid, good name. Uh, and it burns a bit, so, right, three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, looking good, guys. Seven, of course I can't see you, but I'm sure you're doing well. Nine, and 10, good. Middle of winter here, but I'm still working up a sweat. I guess someone's put the heating up too high, haven't they? Okay, so take a chill if you're doing the double leg, but if you're on the single leg, you should be moving on to your left leg now. You can do that one, all right? Now, guys, hip flexors. One of the issues with hip flexors is tightness, which a lot of us get because we sit down throughout the day whether you're at the desk at work or whether you're in a wheelchair or whatever, that is always in a closed position, which means it's tightening up. Although we're walk it, working them now, it's very important to stretch the hip flexors. So check out some of my stretch videos if you haven't already, and make sure that you're addressing tight hip flexors. It'll help with walking and general mobility. So let's get back down for round three. Pop your hands underneath your butt. Three, two, one, let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, halfway there, six, seven, eight, nine, good, and ten, lovely. Okay, so that's three sets done. If you're ever watching these videos and I'm going a little bit too fast, you can always hit the pause button 
take slightly longer to rest as well. I'm absolutely cool with that. Let's move on. <laughs> 